Kal halal yam la yahavu bahasham shal yahavu shai bahasham kakodash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father only Hebrew name, in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is his son's only Hebrew name, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, etc. And um, in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is a Rakakodash, all right? Can't, um, you know, the Holy Spirit is uh, the moving force that Yahweh sends to, to give us these lessons, these revelations, these blessings, these covering protection, etc. All right, to keep us on the path of righteousness, of straight and narrow. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Salutations to the sincere Akim Ak and the few Akwakim out there that's pushing the truth of the Holy Bible in fear and sincerity, that's trying to keep these laws and commandments to the best of the ability, trying to keep the balance of the true meaning of the scriptures, all right? Knowing that Israel alone shall be saved, knowing that you're Israelites, knowing that the kingdom is for our people, knowing that uh, so-called white race is the, are the Edomites, and the USA is Babylon, etc., right? And the reason why I mention all of this is because uh, going to lessons, as you can see, truth is reality, right? And there's only one truth. There's only one truth, and that's the reality of it, all right? And the Spirit been on me a couple months to put this lesson together, and, and now is the time. The Scripture says, um, the proof of, the proof of correction of wisdom is never out of time, all right? Now, the reason why I mean this lesson truth is reality because when you come to this truth, you realize um, what really matters in this life, what life is about, what you need to do, and and our reason for being being created, you know. And our reason for being created is to serve our Creator. Full stop. It's not. It's not to, you know, do astral projections and try to contact dead and ancestral worship and all the rest of it's simple. At least for Israel it should be. Just read this book, apply the, that, what you've learned from the book, and teach it to those who are willing to learn. You know, a balance. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look up the meaning of the word reality, and then I'm gonna get into these scriptures, all right? It says uh, reality and now, and uh, this dictionary doesn't even have a, a, a etymology of the word it usually does on the phone here. The state of being actual or real. All right. So it's uh, meaning to a real entity, event, or or other fact. And it has a little note here: the ultimate reality of life is that it ends in death. All right, and we know that we. Well, most of us should know that technically there's no such thing as death. We just shed these bodies and transition into the spirit world, right? Um, the definition three, the entirety of all that is real. That's what I wanted to, that's the main point there. Uh, the other two points is important, but this is a real solid one. The entirety of all that is real. Everything that we see after coming to this truth, we understand uh, what what Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is doing and what he did, what he um, will continue to do. He doesn't change. He's perfect in every way. So I was gonna start off with Deuteronomy, but Spirit just said start off with Sirach eighteen and verse one. All right, the entirety of all that is real. He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. Yahweh only is righteous, and there is none other but he. All right. Verse 3. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. For he is king of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. Right. 
So, the reason why I read this is because Yahweh Hashem is the one who lives forever. Right? I'm going to go into scriptures and prove that. Right? And he created all things in general, so he has the understanding and the reality of everything. The scripture says in um, Isaiah 66 and um, 1 Thessalonians 2 that Yahweh shall send in this world strong delusions. And a lot of people are in delusions. They believe in chemitology, believe in, in Gaia theory that the, that the earth is one living organism and, and a bunch of other things, you know. Some crazy theories to believe in aliens and, and stuff like that. As in little green men and stuff like that. That's a strong delusion that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has placed on the world because of their uh, their wicked and vile affections, you know. It says Yahweh only is righteous and there is none other but He. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the one that only exists. We don't exist, only he does. We only consist because because he allows it. Right? And it says so in our Colossians through his son. So let's get into what's truth and we'll break it down a little further. Alright. This is uh Deuteronomy four verse five. Yeah. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh, my power, commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this is a great nation and a wise Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So the laws and commandments are our wisdom and our understanding. And this is what these other nations know. That the knowledge that we have is far above the folly that they come up with. Alright? Now, the reason why I bring this out. So it's showing that our commandments. Yahweh Hashem Yahushua laws, statutes and commandments are wisdom. So let's go to Psalms. 119 verse 151 it says uh, thou art near O Yahweh all thy commandments are truth so Yahweh Hashem Yahushai taught us truth the reality of things of what really matters in this life what we create for all right, and you know, this precept wasn't in my, uh, in my list, but I'm gonna get it anyway. This is um, Ecclesiastes 12, and verse 13, one of my favorite precepts as well. It says, uh, Let us hear the whole conclusion of the matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of a man or purpose of a man. All right. The whole duty and purpose of a man. Slack out, King. Can't take that right now. Yeah, the whole duty of a man, alright? So let's go into that word duty. Just get a little further. Clarification. So uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, it's not there. All right. For so that's the whole duty of a man, which goes into purpose and whatnot. Yeah. So that's the whole duty of a man, which goes into purpose and whatnot. So let's get us out of the scripture here. Um, Proverbs 4 and verse 7. Alright. This says, Wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom with all thy getting, get understanding. So, 
the, the commandments is a principal thing, right? Yes, we can't keep all the commandments 100%, but belief that Yahweh Hashem shows mercy for, for trying to keep as many as we can um, is a principal thing because Yahweh will not dwell with an unrighteous soul and those who believe are subject to maliciousness according to wisdom Psalm 1. All right? Um, jump down to verse 13. All right, it says, take fast, take fast hold of instruction because the commandments are basically instructions telling you what you need to do. All right? Let her not go, keep her, for she is thy life, thy reality. Things we perceive to be real, things we see we perceive to be important. And when you come to serve you, how about Shimmy or Shem? You come to um, make an um, apply the oath because when you when you you know start reading these words and start doing doing what it says, accept that you're an Israelite and whatnot. You make an oath subconsciously, an oath that you will serve your father, you will be be his 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 sons because if you're not keeping the commandments you're a bastard, you know. Um let's get the next scripture it is Proverbs eight and one. Let's read in one to show that it's wisdom. One and then jump down to verse five. Proverbs wisdom Proverbs eight and one. Doth not wisdom cry and on the sun and put forth her voice? Right? So wisdom is putting forth her voice to for for men to follow her. Right? To obey her, right? It says um the good unto verse four or five of Proverbs 8, for whoso findeth me findeth life. And shall obtain favor of Yahweh. So whoso finds wisdom has, has an understanding of what reality is. Not trying to get fancy clothes and a bunch of women and um, big mansions in this life. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will will bless us in the next kingdom. This this life, this reality we're living right now, is just preparations for a bigger picture, right? Um, and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob understood that if you read um, uh, and all the other righteous righteous men, um, Noah, um, Adam, Enos, all the other the righteous men, the men, the great men that Yahweh Hashem you know, shows that that are, that are in that are written in the Holy Scriptures, you know, the men of Israel, that is, right? Um, let's see. The scripture. So let's go to Proverbs six and twenty-three. It says, uh, "For for the commandment is a is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life." So, wisdom is our life, and wisdom helps you to find life, and it will show you the way of life as in the things the, the ordinances you know the ordinances that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai created the way things are supposed to be how we're supposed to eat how we're supposed to dress how we're supposed to think how we're supposed to talk created what you understand what you were created to do understand your talents your gifts and whatnot the blessings that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai bestowed upon you all right and this is um um, from the first scripture I read was Surah 18, 1 to 3. How Bashim Yahushai governs the world with the palm of his hand, right? So let's get Psalms 3 and verse 7. Let me see, what was verse 5? It says, I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for Yahweh has sustained me. Yahweh has to sustain me, right? The reason why I brought out the script is because a lot of people sleep and they don't know what wakes them up. They don't know how their breath continues the next day. Is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the one that's governing everything. The scripture says the steps of a good man are guided by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai with the power of phrases in the book of Psalms, right? 
Yeah, for, for that has sustained us. You know, the how about and Yahushai has sustained us. We didn't, we didn't, we, we don't function of ourselves. All right. Let's go to another one. This is Job 8, Job Slack, Job 9 and 18. All right. This is what I love about the Holy Scriptures. There's so much, so much thing you can learn. Um, um, King David, Malak Dawada, said, um, I have seen the end of all perfection, but thy commandments and laws are exceedingly broad. It is beyond perfection, you are saying, right? Anyway, this is Job 9 and 18. He will not suffer me to take my breath, but filleth me with bitterness, right? And he said, when you check the word suffer, oh, I think I got it right here. Let me see. Yeah, you check the word suffer is 5414, age 5414, and it's Nathan, and it says to give, to put, right? He will not give me to take my breath. So if you how about me, how should I want? He could take all the air off of this earth and leave you to just die, right? And this is uh, one of my favorite scriptures here, too. Um, this is Job 34 and 14. If he set his heart upon man, if he gather unto himself his spirit, his spirit and his breath, verse 15, all flesh shall perish together and man shall turn again unto dust. Our spirit is not even our own. All right, let me get a real quick in wisdom of Solomon. We, 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 uh, we borrow our spirit, scripture says. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. And this is a reality. This is a reality, right? This is Wisdom Psalm 15 and 16. For man he made them, he that borrowed his own spirit, fashioned them. But no man can make a god like unto himself. Right? We borrowed our own spirit. Thus say the Halbash and Hoshai. Alright, we don't own nothing. This is this all belongs to how this is this is the truth. This is the reality of the truth. Alright? So let's go to Malachi 3.16. Alright. So I'm bringing this one out for a certain for a, for a, spe a specific tone, a set of scenery in the sun. Malachi 316. Then they that feared the howl spake after one one to another. Alright, that was the man of the Lord who's trying to endure and do the will of the Heavenly Father to be in sync with his with his vibration, so to speak. They will be speaking after one to another, encouraging it one another, admonishing one another, exhorting one another, praying for another, fasting for another, and so forth. It says, and he hearkened. And heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. So how can you remember something that you never knew? We knew all this before, but Yahweh, while we are while we're on earth in these bodies, Yahweh set up the Holy Bible for us to remember, right? That we should fear Yahweh Bashan Hoshai, understand what reality and what life is all about. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh and that thought upon his name. All right, and his name is very important. Don't care what nobody says, his name is very important. And he has one name. His name is so pure it cannot be translated. I don't care what nobody says. It can be transliterated, which is words from another language to represent the origin of that of that word all right so if the hebrew character is ya is pronounced ya whatever character in that language could make the sound ya you parallel it to that right and you know so it says a book of remembrance was written before him so the elect, the chosen men of Israel, will remember the reality of what reality is about, right? So 
other than wisdom and the commandments is something else you need to understand all right it's not like slack you're not other than but there's a key element because it's, it's more than just um you know keeping the laws and commandments and stuff like that it's a certain understanding a certain um perception the how is delivering to a specific set of men that will understand the father like how like how we would understand how to do a certain job or whatnot. Well, we gotta understand how to serve you, how bashing your shite. Um, this is Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. He does say to Hawa, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. So man can have knowledge of all the laws and can keep them as best as they can, however. And most I say, let, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Those who have power and strength, guns and ammunition and, and whatnot. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Those who have an abundance of wealth, most I say, don't glory in that. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness. The scripture says in Psalm 119, 172, all his commandments are righteousness, right? And righteousness in the earth. For these things I delight, saith Yahweh. So this is the balance on the sign of you know, that, that Yahweh requires a certain behavior of his creation, of his children. Right? And right now the world is out of course because the wicked ruler, the so-called white race, right? So let's go to um first John chapter 2 and verse 3 to 5 what it means to know Yahweh to know your father to know your creator is not leaning on, on, on your own understanding uh, chapter 2 verse 3 yeah. it says here hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments he that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not him he's far from reality <laughs> all right he's a liar he's living in a delusion and whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of Yahweh perfected whoso keepeth his word the love of Yahweh is perfected all right look now for the brotherhood as best as you can hereby we know that we are in him Hereby know that we are in him. So we are with Yahweh. We are in sync with his true plan and purpose, his will. Alright? So keep praying, keep fasting, stay in the spirit, Pakya. And this is the icing on the cake, right? Truly enjoying this lesson. <laughs> uh, but you know, fools say all good things must come to an end. Good ain't ever going to come to an end. Right, so let's go with my Psalm 15 and verse 1. Let's start from 1. But thou, O Yahweh, art gracious and true, long suffering, and in mercy, or order, or ordering all things. In mercy, order all things. Which proves there's no such thing as hell. Right? He's not going to destroy his own, his, his own spirit. Some spirits will be subject unto, unto what? Wanted the purpose he created them for. Meaning, Israel is, Israel is going to be a kingdom of priests and righteousness, whereby the heathens, whereby the heathens are going to serve us in hardcore, hardcore slavery, right? Because that's what Israel endured to inherit this thing, right? That's what we're learning. We learn how to be finite judges right finite judges whereby we went through a bunch of scenarios to understand how to judge things correctly and now this is the final this is the final life all right the final reality and ushering into until the the true unveiling of Yahweh's glory Yahweh's master plan all right it says verse 2 for if we sin we are dying and sin is transgression of the law, according to First John. 
right? For if we sin, we are dying, knowing thy power. We know thy power if we know what Yahweh Hashem is going to do if we sin. But we will not sin, knowing that we are counted dying. So we won't sin because we know that we are still the Yahweh Hashem Because I read in the same chapter that we, we borrowed our own spirit, all right? This is our uh, verse 3. For to know thee is perfect righteousness, right? To believe that if we obey, obey is better than sacrifice. If we obey, how about is perfect righteousness. Yea, to know thy power is the root of immortality, right? So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. To Wadi Hal Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakat Vadash, putting His Holy Spirit on me, right? The do this was beautiful lesson. I pray that Isaac, I pray that our brothers, our sisters of Israel continue to stand steadfastly, the elect, open it, the world of that number. And shalom, brachatah, until another time.